Welcome back to another eye-opening episode of Curious Kids. I am your host, Rachel Carson. Today, we're exploring an important topic, how population growth affects the resources we all depend on. Have you ever wondered what happens when there are more people but the same amount of food, water, and energy? Let's dive into the challenges and solutions for balancing our world. Chapter 1. What is Population Growth? Population growth happens when the number of people in a particular area increases. This can be in a city, a country, or even the entire world. As more people are born and live longer lives, the population grows. But what does this mean for our planet? Chapter 2. Resources and their limits. Resources are the things we need to survive, like food, water, and energy. But these resources are not unlimited. For example, we need to grow food on farmland, and there's only so much land available. Water comes from rivers, lakes, and underground, and we have to share it with everyone, including animals and plants. Chapter 3. The Impact of Overpopulation Overpopulation happens when there are too many people in one place, and the resources can't keep up. This can lead to problems like food shortages, water scarcity, and even environmental damage like deforestation and pollution. When too many people live in one area, it puts pressure on the environment. For example, forests might be cut down to make space for housing, or rivers might become polluted from too much waste. These changes can harm animals and plants and make it harder for people to live healthy lives. Chapter 4. Solutions for a Sustainable Future While overpopulation and resource use are challenges, there are ways we can all help create a more sustainable future. This includes using resources more efficiently, like conserving water, recycling materials, and using renewable energy sources like solar and wind. We can also work on reducing waste, protecting natural habitats, and making sure everyone has access to education and healthcare. By working together, we can balance our population with the resources our planet provides, ensuring a healthy world for generations to come. So today we learned about population growth, the importance of resources, the impact of overpopulation, and the solutions for a sustainable future. Remember, every little action counts, so let's all do our part to protect our planet. And now for a fun joke before we go, why did the environment go to school? To get a little greener. Thanks for watching, Curious Kids. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more exciting science adventures. Stay curious and keep exploring. See you next time.